What's up, everybody, and welcome to Magic the Gathering Universes Beyond Beyond Boosters Box Unboxing. Today, we're going to be opening this up, so let's get right into it. I already popped it right on the side here, so we're going to see what uh, what we got here. No delay. I've been uh, putting out a few videos for Assassin's Creed. We already did one for the collectors, which that was pretty cool. I got some my first uh, serialized card for that, so that was uh, really surprising and nice. Say, I always forget how you open open these properly. A great start here. There we go. All right, we pop this part. Boom, got it open. Got a little bit of EB Fry. That's cool. Pull out all these. Uh, Packs here, dump it out in front of us. There's the Beyond Boosters. It's so weird that they change all of these. It used to be set boosters, then it changed, and then there was also draft boosters, and now there's Beyond Boosters, and then there's regular, like regular boosters that are mixed between that. I never knew how complicated it actually got, but let's get right into the first one here. Especially as somebody new to Magic in general. It's always take a second to get used to. Almost got it. There we go. A little nervous because I don't know what's going to show up in uh, this here. So, all right, let's get uh, let's get started. Got the assassin. That's the token on the back. I forgot we had to flip it over. <laughs> Loyal inventor. We've gotten a lot of those. The Asir escape Valhalla. Reconstruct History, Mountain, Rest in Peace, love that. Ooh, Temporal Trespass, Delve. Each card you exile from your graveyard while casting this uh, pays for one. Each card you exile from your graveyard while casting this spell pays for one. Oh, okay. Take an extra turn after this one, exile Temporal Trespass. And it's a foil there too, foil mythic. And then Arno Dorian. Love that. Not too bad. Not too bad starting out. Now, these are all cards that I'm still planning on making a deck and getting uh, getting my own commander eventually set up. We've still been playing at home with these actual cards. We've still been playing a lot of starting decks. But hopefully, in the sometime near future, I'll be able to start to build my own these things are always tough starting out and still playing a lot of magic arena to kind of just learn how to play all of the first civilization hidden footblade fatal push forest cassandra eagle bearer not too bad that one's pretty good Enters the battlefield, search for your graveyard, hand, and library for a card named the Spear of Leonidas. We've got a ton of those. Chain Assassination. I actually love this card. Alexios, Demos of Cosmos. We've got Trample. And we've got like the, uh, yeah, the art series card. Oh, always pretty cool. Man, I love Assassin's Creed. These have been sitting next to me for so long now that I've just been patiently waiting to to open i kind of been monitoring monitor monitoring my previous videos that i've done so far so if you have watched those thank you for all the likes man this is the hardest part these guys are tough Makes me want to pre-open most of these. <laughs> Just struggling. All right, the Assassin's Gauntlet, Revelations of Ezio. And just to let you know, if you are first time joining Dao Jun, this is really only my third or fourth time actually opening up packs. So I'm still very new to magic, still learning it. Edward Kenway, showcase one, pretty sick. I'm just now starting to realize like, Checking the icons for all these, and then also what what type of card they all are. 
showcase or foil and all of that. The Capital Lean Triad. Creatures you control have a base power toughness 9-9. Nine, nine. Damn. Seems kind of crazy. Yeah, I was really bummed that a lot of these cards don't really come to Magic Arena. Which I, I get it. I understand why. But I really wish that uh, they could come to some sort of agreement for a lot of these. These are the toughest cards. These are harder to open than literally the collector's back. Got it. All right. Sorry for uh, pulling it off screen. I'm just trying not to sit there and watch you have you or have you watch me struggle. Arno Dorian again. Island. What must be done? Whoa! I don't think I've seen that one actually. Is Desmond let the world burn, destroy all artifacts and creatures, release Juno, return target historic permanent card from your graveyard to the battlefield and enters two additional plus one plus one counters on it if it's a creature. Palazzo Archers, we've got a decent amount of those. Lydia Fry, then we've got uh, the guy that's completely drawing a blank on my mind right now. Altair. I wanted to say Ezio, but I know it's Ezio. Trust me, I, I know my Assassin's Creed. I promise. This is a professional, professional stream. Professional record. YouTube video. All right. Eddie Larceny. Have I seen that one? I might have seen it like once or twice. Mortify. I don't think I've seen this one. Destroy target creature or enhancement. Nah, maybe I have. Murder, classic. I can't believe how long murder has been around for. Ooh. The Capitoline Triad. Damn, that's a 10. Those who come before, this spell costs one less to cast for each historic card in your graveyard. 7-7, seven, seven. exile any number of historic cards from your graveyard with total mana of 30 or more or greater. You get an emblem with creatures you control, have base power and toughness in 9-9. Nine, nine. That's insane. That's the token that we saw earlier. Smoke Bomb, the foil. Roshan, we've got a ton of her from the collectors. Cool. Yeah, I still don't know what to do with my serialized card. Um, I, I might try to actually sell it at some point. To be honest, because I, as much as, yeah, holding on to a card that has a value of like $600 is nice. I also feel like there's somebody out there that might even appreciate it more at CO. Viewpoint synchronization, Swamp, Assassin's Trophy. That one's cool. Like if it was a Connor or an Ezio or something like, maybe even uh, Cleopatra. I would hold on to it, but I, uh, I don't know. you can see I'm slowly getting the pace of these to go a lot faster. There we go. We're getting the groove of opening these. Oh, I don't got them. The token. Monastery Raid. Become Anonymous. Hunter's Bow. Waterlogged Grove. Desynchronization. Loyal Inventor. Adewale. Showcase one. That's cool. And then we've got the token again. But yeah, playing with the starter decks have been a lot of fun for this. I'm just waiting for the time where we start building our own and playing with a 60 card deck. Sometimes I want to hold on to some of these booster boxes or packs and then open them at a later date when right when we're about to sit down and play. I don't know. Lydia Fry, Connaissance, Planes, Bassem, Evie Fry. Wait, was, was the last, like, Lydia Fry? Did I say Lydia Fry? Oh, it is Fry. Lydia Fry. I don't know why. Huh. Evie Fry, Shay Cormac. We've got the uh, minigame. 
And like I always say, if you guys have any suggestions for these videos, feel free to throw them in the comments. I know that they're slowly starting to pick up in viewership. I'm not sure how many people are actually enjoying them, but still, I don't know. It's something I'm doing for myself, either way. Track the guards, propaganda, bars, caliber sort of Eden. There we go. That's a good one. This costs less to cast where X is the total mana value of historic permanents you control. Artifacts, legendary sagas are historic. Beautiful. Path to Exile. Arno Dorian. Not bad. Another art card. Beautiful. And again, if you guys are enjoying this too, leaving likes help me out a ton. So I really do appreciate anything like that too. Hidden Blade, Eagle Vision, Fatal Push, Island, Cleopatra, Exiled Pharaoh. Okay. I have not seen this artwork. The beginning of your end step, put a plus one, plus one counter uh, on each of up to two other target legendary creatures. Every legendary creature with the counter on it dies, draw a card for each counter on it. You lose two life. Hunter's Bow, Arno Dorian again. A lot of Arno Dorians. The things that I would love to get during this would be if I can get a uh, Raton or Connor Kenway. Oh, uh, he's one. I I do have a lot of Ezio at this rate, so that part's fine. Um, trying to think if there's anybody else. Origin of the Hidden Ones, Path the Exile, Arbaz, Plains. Jacob Fry. Oh, there we go. Wait. Oh, sorry. A little spoiler. Jacob Fry. I don't know if I've gotten. I, I can't remember. But we'll partner up with Evie Fry. Haytham Kenway. I don't think I have one of Haytham. That's sick. Protection from assassins. Other knights you control gets plus two, plus two, and have protection from assassins. When he enters the battlefield, each opponent exile up to. One target creature that player controls until Haytham Kenway leaves the battlefield. He would be cool to make a... Uh, I, I feel like he would be fun. Maybe not the most powerful, but fun to make a commander deck based off of him. Starting to use a little bit more force to get these open, especially since they're just beyond boosters. Revelations of Ezio, Fall of First Civilization... Cathartic Reunion, Horus, Aya of Alexandria, Escape Detection, Alexios, then Human Rogue. Yeah, I know a lot of people, and that's, that's what I'm trying to do here is speed this process up a bit. A lot of people that do watch these videos really only come for the cards, so I get that. And I'm really just filling the dead air in between. So hopefully, you know, I'm doing an okay job. Brotherhood Headquarters, Murder, Mountain, Evie Fry, Cathartic Reunion, Ezio. I love that. I said it last time. I love that mission, though. So in a few weeks, we also have Bloom, Bloomboro begins that's the next uh big magic the gathering bundle and everything i don't i said last time that i don't really care about a lot of the other stuff unless that they do crossovers but that one looks kind of cool out of the black flag Adewale again swamp so there we go okay i know this to everyone else this is nothing but we got a card with connor on it so i'm happy as long as Rata, I don't know. Connor, I know. I'm sorry. I, I don't want to butcher your name. It hasn't dealt damage yet. It is hexproof and can't be blocked. That's sick. Whenever he deals damage, damage to a player. Create a 1 1 black assassin creature token with menace. When you do, return the target equipment from your graveyard to the battlefield and then attach it to that token. And he requires three. Oh boy. So you need like colorless in there. 
Um, but going back to Bloom Bar Arrow, it looks pretty cool. It looks very cute and everything. And I'm excited to play some Magic Arena with that. Because it is coming, that set is actually coming to Arena. So I probably will be doing some videos, trying any of the test decks, maybe opening up like any packs that we unlock. Because I'm not spending money on packs in that game since it's all digital. I will in other games, but not, not in a game that has real life uh, cards that you can play. Jay Cormac, go for the throat. Ooh, there's Connor right there. Mountain, cover of darkness, Phantom Blade, Adewale. Okay, cool. Now sorting all these cards after, I didn't think about that part. Before I recorded this video, I didn't think about the part where I'm gonna have to sort all of these and go through them, but that's okay. I kind of enjoy that part. Every time I see this, the Assassin Gauntlet, I can only see Thanos' Gauntlet for the Affinity Gauntlet. Mortify, Swamp, Conspiracy. I think that would actually, actually might be pretty good. There's the battlefield, choose a creature type. Creatures you control of the chosen type. Uh, you control are the chosen type. The same is true for creature spells you control and creature cards you own that aren't in the battle. Revelations of Ezio. A little bit of, uh, might be like etched. Jacob Fry. All right, that's a cool one. Showcase, and then we got Mysterious Creature. 17 minutes in. Some good progress so far, I would say. A little bit of struggle in the beginning, but I'll try to cut out. The biggest part where I struggled. Distract the guards. Monastery raid. Palazzo archers. Mountain. Ooh, Socrates. That's the the uh the one that I got with the special artwork. Brotherhood, De Cormac, and you no. Know, not too bad. Not too bad. All right. You guys didn't see anything, but I had to check something real quick. But here we go. No difference on your end. <laughs> Let's see. Eagle Vision. Petty Larceny. Arno Dorian. Island, Mjolnir, Storm, Stormhammer, Bleeding Effect, Chao Jun, and Edward Kenway, Art Card. Open up this one. But yeah, I'm going to try to do some, and maybe before this, I, I might actually be recording some after this. Book Blade, Brotherhood Regalia, Hunter's Bow. I may do some uh, Abil Ooh, Abilene, the Grand Parde, Free, <laughs> Coastal Piracy, Aya of Alexios, or Al Alexandra, not Alexios, Ezio Art Card. I may do some Magic Arena videos in the future just to play with new decks, uh, maybe do some drafts on there too. Everything I would be doing at free to play though, unless if I get something like to redeem in those games. Cause I know sometimes not with this specifically, but sometimes you can get uh, codes to redeem planes. And I think it does a pretty good job. Staff of Hermes is actually pretty good too. I think the game does a pretty good job at uh, actually making it free to play. I'm not gonna lie. Like, yes, you can buy packs, but you can also just as easily earn gold in the game. And then from from there, with that gold, use it to, uh, to create your own packs or play game modes that actually give you packs. At this point, we're kind of just seeing a lot of cards that we've already seen before. Sword of Feast and Famine. I'm pretty sure this one's really good. The Crypt creature gets plus two, plus two, and has protection from black 
and from green. That's crazy. Whenever a quick creature deals combat damage to a player, that player discards a card and you un untap all lands you control. Equip two. Hook blade again via fry. All right. Yeah, but this may be, I'm not gonna lie, for a while, this may be the last booster box opening I do. Uh, unless if there's something I really get into or I, I will be doing the Bloomborough uh, bundle unboxing for the actual, like you get nine boosters in it and some other stuff. But I don't know if I'll be getting a whole booster box. This end up, ends up doing a way better. Whoa. <laughs> Apple of Eden, Isu Relic. That's another good one too. Hey, for life, sacrifice Apple of Eden. Look at the at the target opponent's hand and exile those cards face down. You may play those cards this turn and mana of any type can be spent to cast them. Till end of turn, whenever you play land or cast a spell this way, its owner draws a card at the beginning of the next end step. Return the exile card to the owner's hand, activate only as a... Roshan, Ezio again, and treasure. But yeah, this might be the last one for a while. Uh, if these videos start doing better, and if they start making enough revenue <laughs> to pay for one, or if I really, uh, say if Bloomborough comes out and I really, really enjoy it. Sure, maybe. But I think for going into the future, I'm most likely just going to do only the ones that I really care about. Man, this whole stack to the left of me is crazy. <laughs> These packs. I wish you guys could see it. <laughs> crazy how much opening you do. Lexios, Reconstruct History. Chao Jun. Swamp. Sino. Mary Reed and Anne Bonnie. Sounds pretty good. Roshan. And then there's Connor once again. Entering the synchronization. For the uh the point final pack. And we cut this down to twenty minutes. Overpowering attack. Templar Knight, Coastal Privacy Piracy, Horus, Avi the All Father, that one's a cool one. Fall of the First Civilization, Roshan, and that is it. So for those of you that are exiting now, uh, I appreciate it. Thank you for watching here. If you guys did enjoy it, leaving likes really help out a whole lot. I think I'm going to keep it short and sweet here. We got a lot in here. I'm going to go ahead and sort them and then get them ready for decks because uh, I'm going to play with these. It's a lot of cards, right? Look at that. And I can also put it into the nice new... Uh, bundle that I got which if you want to see what we pulled from that one uh, the collectors give me 30 seconds not even right here if you haven't watched that video and if you want to go ahead go check it out we got some cool stuff in here we got some very 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 cool stuff right in spoiler if you haven't watched it yet no that that's not the one here it is also if there's anyone that wants to buy it feel free my email is in my bio i'll even maybe sell it a little bit cheaper than it actually is but all right that's it for this one i struggled through it i apologize if you are watching and you're new to the channel, like and subscribe. It helps. Thank you for being here. I hope you have a great day. And uh, as always... Thanks for watching.